This is Hank for the Wildflower Bee Farm. I am very pleased to talk to you today about the decision we have from the what's called the Provincial Weed Inspector or Weed Police as I've been calling them uh, for the province. So you may have a state weed inspector where we have a provincial one who is the supervising boss I guess of all weed inspectors in the province and here's the decision on our farm which is uh, we found I found very exciting so we got to the point of appealing the decision of the local person just to summarize who on a phone call told me that if I didn't cut it they were going to come in and cut all the cannabis thistle they found in our farm because there was some right here on a local farmers field who had not uh, done anything sort of abandoned this section right in here. So what ended up, we, I, we hired a lawyer, we appealed it, and the decision came back that the weed inspector indicated that any of the Canada thistle here or in, um, in this area does not pose a threat to agriculture because the weed dispersal is a maximum 10 meters um, for this uh, species which was exciting. So these areas you see are the areas we must try to keep uh, Canada thistle away from the adjoining agriculture. And this is supposed to be 10 meters. Now you can see on this diagram, these two areas here, that leaves us with the majority of the farm. Now this is the forest back here. This is an older satellite view that the uh, government did use. Now I recently asked about this and I thought, well, there's no agriculture here. What is the purpose of keeping this in that 10 um, meter buffer zone, which is 30 feet? Well, according, and I got, just got feedback, and by the way, the weed inspector for the province, very professional, knows what he's doing, and is very um, detailed and helpful, uh, taught me this, that the weeds, should weed seeds get on the road, they've done research to show how cars actually, traveling on this major, highway number three could actually drive for miles and then disperse the uh, weed seeds the Canada thistle or others on to other agricultural land now the other point I want to mention that was really helpful for me is even though uh, there are no um, None of our plant, uh, plants end up on any of these farms unless they're abandoned, as this farm has done. Um, but we never know, according to the weed inspector, when, in fact, this may become, for example, an organic farm. And then not having this buffer could be a significant problem for that farmer. So long story short, we're, we're going to implement. We have until sometime midsummer. Uh, to make sure this happens and we'll start this fall. There's some things I'm going to do here Because now they've stopped blooming now the final thing that's really exciting is in the report the inspector said that he acknowledged that the Best medication so let's say in sometime in June or July. There are some can of thistle here once they're finished blooming if we have them cut just before just before they go to seed so after the the honeybees and the monarchs and all the wildlife are finished with the blossoms we can then clip them um, and then they won't become a problem and that's what he recommended so that's exciting news now this is ongoing monitoring so i'm not sure we won't be you know about you know battling this again because um, for example if this farmer does not do anything about his area here that he's chosen to abandon there will be weeds here that didn't come from our farm but will continue to be there so i don't know how we're going to resolve that issue um, the other exciting news is he said this also works for sow thistle now sow thistle is also on our farm as part of the habitat uh, if we keep this um, as best we can clean of sow thistle that also would be a mitigation for that and I'll put this in quotation marks, noxious weed that our bees, bees absolutely love and does appear on the farm here. So this is really has been a, a great outcome. And, and I think if you live in Ontario and you're experiencing conflict with um, municipal, uh, in this case, uneducated and ignorant uh, local person who misread the law, obviously, and this professional opinion from the provincial, Ontario provincial inspector should help you uh, with your issue. Make sure you have a buffer zone 
and make sure you keep it as best you can free from um, anything on that list. So this is Hank from the Wildflower Bee Farm. Very excited to bring you this news. It's a it's a win win, I believe, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to continue to cooperate with the with the provincial uh, uh, weed inspector and um, keep everybody happy. You have an amazing day, and we'll talk soon.